The New England Patriots were defeated by the Las Vegas Raiders in a very embarrassing fashion. And you have to wonder, are the Patriots trending in the wrong direction under Bill Belichick? I believe that they are. Bill Belichick's stubbornness is hurting the Patriots. You see, going into this season, we didn't even know who the offensive coordinator was going to be. We thought that he was going to end up bringing somebody in, but he never did. He ended up having Joe Judge and Matt Patricia being heavily involved in running the offense throughout the offseason, throughout training camp and whatnot. And then come week one, it ends up Matt Patricia being named the offensive coordinator. And many Patriots fans were skeptical about the decision, but they gave Bill Belichick the benefit of a doubt because it's Bill Belichick. But now when you look at how this season has went for New England, and you look at how last year went for New England, this franchise is not what it used to be. And we're not talking about, you know, losing Tom Brady and whatnot. We're talking about just Bill Belichick. You see... One thing that we used to always say about New England was that they were always really well coached. There were not going to be too many games where you will find New England being out coached by their opponent. But this season, however, it looks like there's been plenty of times where this coaching staff has gotten out coached. And the reason for that is because of Bill Belichick's stubbornness of having the Lil Dirk mentality, keeping it only the family and only hiring guys who you have close ties to, have a strong relationship with. Bill Belichick, when's the last time he's gone out, conducted a search for a new coordinator position? When's the last time we've heard Bill Belichick go through interviews, interviewing candidates for a new vacancy on his coaching staff? It's been a very long time. When you look at his coaching staff, it's comprised of former players, family members, or guys who Bill Belichick has been coaching with for a very long time. The OTF Bill, 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 Bill Belichick coaching tree is hurting New England because instead of hiring the guys who are the most qualified for these positions, you end up hiring guys who you know the longest. And it's hurting Bill Belichick and it's hurting the New England Patriots. Because think about this. If Bill Belichick retires and the New England Patriots don't win a playoff game, they don't have a Super Bowl, or they don't have any success in general post-Brady, what is going to be Bill, Bill, Bill Belichick's legacy when we look back and reflect on his accolades and his accomplishments. We're going to say, yeah, Bill B was one of the greatest head coaches in NFL history, but if it wasn't for Brady, how good of a coach would he be? And I think now, when you look at Bill Belichick, what I'm about to say is going to be tough, but I think it's really true. I think now, with Tom Brady being out of New England for, what, three years now? I've realized that Tom Brady was Batman. Bill Belichick was Robin. And it's tough because you don't really think of a quarterback, head coach situation in that way. But I think it was true. Tom Brady was the key cog to the Patriots dynasty. You look at the Patriots offense this year. Mac Jones has taken a step back. The offensive line hasn't been good. The receivers have been hit and miss. Outside of Ramondre Stevenson, this offense hasn't been watchable. They call a bunch of screen plays. They can't generate big plays in the passing game downfield. It's a struggle watching this offense. Now, the defense is still really good and it's playing at a really high level. But outside of that, this offense is abysmal. And Tom Brady was always the key cog to the Patriots' offense being as successful as what it was. Think about it. Throughout the tail end of Tom Brady's Patriots career, he was throwing to worst wide receivers. He went from throwing to guys like Randy Moss and Wells Welker to throwing to Philip Dorsett and Chris Hogan, a lacrosse player. 
And the reason why the offense was still able to function was because of Tom Brady. Now, you did have Josh McDaniels there, and that did help. But if Tom Brady was still in New England, he would still be balling regardless of who the offensive coordinator was because Tom Brady was the system. You see, Bill Belichick, his system is being conservative and relying on your defense, not turning the football over too much. And yes, taking care of the football, ball control is the name of the game. But at the same time, though, you still do have to be able to keep the defense honest. You just can't be throwing hella screen passes and not taking a lot of shots downfield and not being able to connect downfield when it comes to attacking the defense vertically because then the defense is just going to play up on you all game and they're just going to be like, you know what? There's no reason for us to worry about the deep throws because they can't hit on them. They can't beat us deep. So we can just play up and play these screen passes and play these slants and drags, get them in the third along, get them in situations where they can't run the football and then get their offense off the field. You look at Mac Jones and the verbal spouts on the sidelines that he's had with Matt Patricia. You know, for Bill Belichick, his stubbornness is really getting in the way of the Patriots' success moving forward. Post-Tom Brady, what has Bill Belichick been? You look at Tom Brady post-New England or post-Bill Belichick, he has won a Super Bowl, he's been to the playoffs, Meanwhile, you look at New England. Yes, they've been to the playoffs, but when we saw them in the playoffs, they got blown out by Buffalo. You see, Bill Belichick has this team trending in the wrong direction. Because as a Patriots fan, I want you guys to be honest with me real quick. When you compare your future, we're not talking about 2022, we're talking about 2023 and beyond. Compare your 2023 and beyond to the Miami Dolphins' futures, the Bills' futures, and the Jets' futures. Where do you lie in the hierarchy of the AFC East? Where do you think this team is going to be headed at this current trajectory under Bill Belichick in the next four years? The Dolphins have Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. It looks like they're going to be a threat for the next couple of years. The Buffalo Bills, as long as they have Josh Allen, they aren't going anywhere. And the New York Jets... If they can finally find a quarterback with that defense and with that young core they have and with the fantastic job that they have done at constructing their roster and hitting on their draft picks, the Jets could end up potentially being a Super Bowl contender down the line if they can find the right quarterback or if Zach Wilson ends up developing. You look at New England, I mean, you don't really know what the future has in store for you. As a matter of fact, you're probably looking at your future in a really negative light because you don't really have as many young promising players as teams as the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills. And plus, right now, what, you have the third best quarterback in the division? Which doesn't really mean much because Mac Jones, I still think, is solid. I don't think he needs to be traded. I don't think he's a problem. I don't think the Patriots need to bring in another quarterback. I don't think they need to bring back Jimmy Garoppolo, bring back Tom Brady. I just think that Bill Belichick needs to stop being stubborn, hire from outside of his OTF coaching tree, and find a way to maximize the potential of his young quarterback. Mac Jones can end up being one of the best quarterbacks in this game. He isn't the most mobile, but he has enough athleticism that you have to account for it, and he can pick up a little bit of yardage if need be. He's also really accurate, and he's also really good when it comes to reading defenses most of the times, in my opinion. I think what has hindered Mac Jones has been the coaching staff. And Bill Belichick is a large reason for why Mac Jones' sophomore season has went the way it's went. And it's really disappointing because you expect more from Bill Belichick. And I heard a rumor, I don't know if this is true, but according to some reports out there some believe that Bill O'Brien could be the Patriots next offensive coordinator in 2023 if Alabama doesn't bring him back or he doesn't get a head coaching job elsewhere Bill Belichick um, according to this report or this rumor didn't want to 
um, offer Bill O'Brien the coordinator job because him and Nick Saban are really tight and they're really good friends. So once again, potentially, we could see Bill Belichick once again keeping it only the family and bringing in somebody else from his OTF coaching tree that hasn't really showed that he's a good coordinator or hasn't showed the ability to lead a top offense. And once again, we could potentially see the stubbornness of Bill Belichick hurting the New England Patriots season and 2023. Bill Belichick is still a fantastic head coach. Don't get me wrong. He's still a top 10 head coach. But when you look at this offense and how he has mismanaged this situation with the offensive coordinator, I just think that the Patriots under Bill Belichick are trending downwards. They're trending in the wrong direction.